the government cannot do this without the close participation of tech companies and experts online who can give us the tools and lead us to those who are attempting to promote uh, attacks like we've seen. Hillary Clinton calling on Silicon Valley to help counter terrorism, propaganda, and recruitment online. While they do help behind the scenes, there have been a number of instances where tech firms have been less than cooperative, like when Apple would not unlock the iPhone of the San Bernardino terrorist. Gary and I recently sat down with AngelList founder and CEO Naval Ravikant to discuss whether tech companies have a responsibility to assist the government in the fight against terror and violent crime. To a point, obviously, as U.S. citizens and U.S. corporations are going to be helpful and within the bounds of the law. But let's be realistic. Tech companies are not part of the military-industrial complex. They have a responsibility to their users to create the best tools in the world. And a lot of this encryption backdoor talk that goes on is scientifically and technically speaking just complete nonsense. But to what point, though? I mean, to a point. So where yeah. is that point? I think the point is, like, if you have information uh, that you can disclose without violating the privacy of the larger set of users, if you can do it targeted, that's great. But things like encryption is that backdoors. Profiling, though, because I know there's some politically correct people in our society yeah. that like that. You know, profiling is a tough case. Israelis do it. The FBI does it to some level. You don't want to do racial. There are, there are constitutional issues. That's kind of beyond my pay grade. But I will say that the encryption backdoor stuff, which I do know pretty well, you can't build an encryption backdoor that can't be violated by everybody. Well, and, well, forgetting the encryption, um, I heard a lot of the media talk about uh, radical jihadists, and I said radical jihadists in Chelsea, in New yeah. York, buying the materials for the bombs yeah. on eBay. So that's not encryption. That's right. front door. I'm not but, a technology. But that's, a, that's an easy case. So, so can, should eBay? Yeah. Should eBay or could eBay? Could eBay alert yeah. the FBI? We have somebody. Why are bombs even on right. the website? Well, well, it's, 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 it's not buying bombs, but it's buying the chemicals. It's buying the right. detonators. Should eBay then say we have somebody buying them? They're sending them to this address. We're giving you an alert. Yeah. And can they do that? I mean, technology-wise, yeah. I'm not talking about. I'm saying technology-wise, kind of can they do that? I can hear the yeah, viewers through the TV yeah. saying yes. Yeah, there technically, should be technologically, they can do that. Yeah, right. absolutely, they can do that. One. And how does it work? You do a screen, you see where. Yeah, they just do. They just do a, a keyword filter and searches on what people are buying. But then, of course, these guys will go to dark markets and they'll go off eBay. The, the terrorists will always have their encryption. They'll always have their guns. So, the, so banning them from the general citizenry doesn't solve the problem. Right. What would you like to see from the next president? It's January 21st. Yeah. You're in the Oval Office making advice and guidance and counsel. What would you like to see? Uh, I'd like to see, you know, obviously speaking for, uh, on the technology side of things, I'd like to see a more sensible regulatory policy. Um, regulation, the deep state sort of issues are, it's, it's pretty well entrenched. It's very hard to do new technology. A lot of stuff coming out in Bitcoin, drones, 3D printing, CRISPR, all kinds of stuff. They're always hampered by regulation. So it's better to have a deregulation path because regulation tends to, should, should try and keep up with technology. You, you'd like more. to see more use of Bitcoin? Uh, cryptocurrencies in general are the future it's of the, finance. It's the Bitcoin king, yeah. bro. So, yeah, I understand, but you th the terrorists are using things like Bitcoin to actually they transfer also use, money. They also use gold and cash. You don't ban those things. You need right. them as a hedge against fiat currencies. The technology is tools. You can allow tools or you can ban tools. You can't control who uses it for what. Wrap up talking about venture capital. Uh, Kobe Bryant just retired from the NBA. He's going to yeah. do a VC fund. Yeah. I might be peak person, venture capital right there. Every young person I know says they want to go to be yeah. Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, yeah. So, so, you know, what is, what, what is it about being a venture capitalist that everybody wants to do it? Well, technology is the future of the human species in the past. We're here because of productivity created by technology growth. And that's becoming more and more obvious. There's now cell phones in everybody's pocket. Everybody sees the tech. Everybody wants to participate in it. That's what we do at AngelList, democratize participation technology. That's why everybody wants to be in it.